On Monday, March 28th, the U.S. Treasury yield curve began to see some significant inversions. 30-year versus 5-year yields were the first to go negative. Now, historically, an inversion is important in that it tends to warn of a recession as money seeks the safety of long-term Treasury bonds in favor of riskier investments. Several days later, the more commonly looked at Treasury spread of 10-year versus 2-year also went negative, giving some affirmation of the trend. Many analysts placed more weight on 2 years versus 10 years as the 2 year is more of a reflection on the Fed's determination to hike, contrasted against the 10 year and its reflection of the general investment appetite. Is this inversion different than others? Some traders will argue that the Fed's involvement in buying of long term treasuries has artificially lowered long end rates and may have lessened the predictive power of that spread. Others will note that an inversion when rates are rising across the curve is less telling than an inversion when rates are collapsing due to an impending economic shock. Going forward, traders will be watching Fed rhetoric and coming economic data to determine if the current inversions are going to be short-term or have greater staying power.